Hey YouTube, opinionated review here, and today I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> But yeah, man, this is a highly awaited, highly anticipated video of the GV Supreme. You see it? This is the official GV Supreme. You're getting the first look, first official look right here. And let me just put in these as the same steps. The video, the original video kind of misled us. But I'll talk about that while the phone boots up. As you see, it's the same thing. It looks just like the others. Nothing different comes with the same tray but it doesn't come with instructions however the instructions are the same so I'ma just put it in and power up the phone and then talk so yes as you see it says without any operations that's misleading that is misleading in the first video misled us you have to do operations however you only have to do it one time after you do it the first time then you can reboot the phone you can pull out the same push it back in and it is untethered but you have to do it, do the steps, the original steps the first time, which is wait, you accept the, the, the welcome message when it comes up, wait 15 seconds, dial 112 and hang up within 2 seconds, toggle airplane mode on and off, and then you'll have service. You also have to reboot for this to, to uh, activate the GP. RS function. Now we're going to get into it. As you see the message comes up here, it gives you the steps right there, but I already know them. So I'm going to click accept and we're going to count to 15. Let's go. 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi, 8 Mississippi, 9 Mississippi, 10 Mississippi, 11 Mississippi, 12 Mississippi, 13 Mississippi, 14 Mississippi, 15 Mississippi yeah Mississippi so now we're gonna go in and this is the controversial part people it's not illegal you're not supposed to let the car connect I've done this procedure more than 50 times the cops never showed up at my door my, my service was never terminated and nobody ever called me back it is not illegal do not mind those stupid morons that said it is so we're gonna go one one two and you have to hang up within two seconds. Don't let the car connect. Let's go. Call one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Hang up. Now we're going to go in, in the settings. We're going to go in toggle airplane mode on. And you wait for about 45 seconds or until you see the message pops up. I can't remember what the message is, but you'll see. There's the message. No SIM card installed. So I'm going to click OK. Toggle it off. We get those two messages. That's fine. Don't panic. Up to the top it says invalid SIM. You see the bars come up, give it a second, wait for it, wait for it, boom, it says T-Mobile. I have a simple mobile sim, but they're running on T-Mobile towers. Now, time for the fun part. You see right here? So now we're going to go and reboot. I'm not cutting out anything in this video. I'm not cutting out anything. I might speed up something, but I'm not cutting out anything. This is a... You'll see and you're seeing everything live. <laughs> now let this phone power off. Now we're gonna power it back on. I've had this this uh, sim for about I've been testing it for about three hours now. Tested it with several different conditions, several different firmwares, jailbroken iOS 5, iOS 4.3, different baselands 4.04. 1101041001 I tested it with I've tested this thing for about 3 hours straight and it's been working so it is legit minus the misleading part of no operation you need operation so now we're going to just leave it and as you can see I did not do anything I did not do anything now let me call, since let me just call my house phone.
Let me see if you could hear it ringing. I hope you can hear that. It is working. Everything is solid. Now let me just let me show you another condition now. I'm going to take it out. As you see, no SIM card installed. And I'm going to push it back in. Let's see what happens. Give it a second. And as you can see up to the top, T-Mobile again, full bars. I did not edit anything. This is a straight clean video. I haven't led you guys astray and I'm not planning to. Now, as I said, I tested this thing for about three hours. It works from uh, iOS 4.0 straight up to iOS 5.0 beta 1. The base bands are 1.59.00. I'll, I'll put everything down in the description. It doesn't make sense call out everything just check the description I removed it while the phone was on I toggled airplane mode on and off it still worked and as I said let me show you guys just so you can you can believe me that I tested I tested on all three of these phones this one is on 4.3 As you can see this one, sorry, 5.0 beta 1, and look at the baseband. I tested it on this, it worked. This one is jailbroken, it's on 4.3.3, and check out the baseband, it worked. This one, let me just toggle off airplane mode so it can come back. Go ahead. As you see, I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm gonna give you a closer look to all three of them. And there you go. It works on jailbroken iPhones. It works on 4.3, 5.0 beta, 04.1104 baseband, which is a new baseband. And it's legit, minus the misleading steps, but it's solid. I got it from slickgates.com. I have everything in the description down below. When I bought it, I paid $20.99. And right now it's $18.99, I think. So, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button in a couple of days. I'll have another one, which is the GV Pass. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.